Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the Eccleston Illumination Escalation. This is a legacy escalation that I recorded Friday, but I've only just managed to put it out. And uh, so, for, we've got five levels of escalation, the all silent assassin. So the first but the first level we have to take out this guy with the lab tech technician disguise. And we're going to start undercover in the underground lab. So for level one, it's very, very straightforward really. Um, you don't really need much help with this, I don't think. But for level one, from the very start, you need to head up this flight of steps. At the very top, there's going to be a generator. You're just going to go ahead and turn that off. Okay. And that's going to distract the target that we need to come up the stairs to investigate. So we're going to turn that back on as well. So, uh, it just doesn't distract anyone else once we take him out. But you can take him out any way you want to, so... Any method would do. If you don't want to bother hiding the body or anything like that, you can just go ahead and just bring a syringe or something. Alternatively, just... I don't think anyone else comes up here anyway. That's why I just shoot him in the, shot him in the head. And just head straight to the exit. You've got a couple of enforcers around the lab areas. So just watch out for them. Also, just watch out for the cameras. But they're very clearly marked on the on the ground anyway. So just avoid its grid, the green grid on the floor. Head straight to the exit, and you'll get an easy silent assassin for level one. So let's just get that confirmation, and then we can move on to level two. So for level 2 we have an additional objective which you have to hack the laptop and for this one we are going to bring along a tranquilizer pistol even though I don't show it on the screen here which I just completely forgot to take a screenshot of but yeah bring along a tranquilizer pistol and from the very start just go ahead and shoot this woman in the back that's going to knock her out and that will give us plenty of time to hack the laptop no one else will turn around within the 20 seconds that you're hacking this laptop in so you don't have to worry about too much the body will get found but because it's a tranquilizer um, uh, it won't affect your son assassin or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about that. So once we've hacked the laptop, we can just take out the other guard the same way we did in the previous level. Nothing too difficult whatsoever. Obviously this was a lot more difficult in Season 1, because we didn't have the Tranquilizer back then, but we do have the benefit of using that right now, so that's the reason why we're doing it. As you can see there, it's his body found, but like I said, you don't have to worry because it's a Trank, and uh, yeah, that doesn't count against your son assassin rating, because it's counted as like an accident knockout, so... That's uh, a good addition to the game when you got the Tranquilizer. Now if you don't have uh, the Tranquilizer then you can all feel free to use my Season 1 guide. But I highly recommend you unlocking the Tranquilizer. If you don't have it by now, what are you doing? Uh, because it's one of the most valuable items within the game. And I'm not sure why people wouldn't be having these sort of things right now. But we're just going to go ahead and uh, knock him out and snap his neck. You can hide his body if you want to, I've, I've chosen to do it this time. Just in case any that there's any panic down below from that one being knocked out. Again, just watch out for any lab technician enforcers around. And also watch out for the cameras too, to stay in the blind spots. Fairly straightforward. There we go. So there is the confirmation of the Silent Assassin, so let's go ahead and move on to level 3. Level 3, we have an additional target. Uh, there's no specifications on how to kill him, but it's just uh, another target added on top of it. So, same equipment, we're going to use that from the previous level, same uh, starting location, same strategy we're going to start at the, at the beginning. Taking that woman out with a tranquilizer and overriding this laptop here, hacking it I should say. But uh, there's not really much difference between this level and the previous level. The five levels really do start to feel a bit of a drag compared to season two In season two you've got you know three levels of escalation but when it comes to the five levels you really do start to wonder why they use the five levels because it really is getting a little bit boring even at the start here I'm doing the same thing repetitively there's not really much difference between all the first three levels apart from you know level four and level five that's when things get a little bit more interesting so first of all you're going to have two targets, so once you turn off this generator right here, when, the, when both targets are standing together, you want to go ahead and turn the generator off, and then turn it back on. 
That's going to distract the second target, that was the, the guard that just got added to this escalation as a target. And he will come up to investigate. But because we turned the generator back on, we can still use it as a second uh, distraction. So we're just going to wait for him to finish his animation. Because once he's finished checking the generator, it now resets, so you can now use that th same thing as a distraction. So that's why the reason why I waited, and I highly recommend doing the same thing. Alternatively, once you turn the generator off, just leave it off until he turns it back on. But yeah, I forgot about it. I've got to, I've got to kill him before I put him in the crate here. So we picked up his weapon as well, and we just want to hide it behind this little uh, air conditioning unit. Go ahead and turn the generator back off. And that's going to distract our first target. And again, you can take him out the same way as you did in the previous level by just going grabbing him and just uh, going ahead and snap his neck. Again, from this point, I'm just going to head straight to the exit, again, avoiding any enforcers that could be around, avoiding all the cameras staying in their blind spots, heading straight to the plane exit, and it's just very simple and straightforward, really, for level 3. That's when level 4 it starts to get a little bit more interesting. So let's just get a confirmation of the Silent Assassin, and then we can move on to level 4. Now for level 4 they have changed a few things, it says some things that our previous objectives have changed. You still have to hack the laptop and take out the, two, the same two guards. However, you have to take one of them out with an explosive golf ball and one with an amputation knife. So we're going to start in the ICA safe house and bringing along the tranquilizer still and then immediately grabbing the golf ball that's just on your kitchen table. And that's, that's from here we're just going to go and grab a, the um, kitchen disguise, just on the bed here. Get it off Rocco. This will allow us to pass freely through the kitchen and not cause any um, any kind of panic. So we can pass freely through here. Now we need to get into the other room where the plate disgu doctor's disguise is because that's where the amputation knife is. So I'm just going to grab that crowbar even though we don't use it. Because I just uh, I like picking things up. Also, we need that key card to, as well over here, so we may as well just go and get it. So the amputation knife is going to be on the left table, so that's the one you get, it's the curved one. And you want to grab the key card that heads us down to the uh, the lab area itself. So some things have changed, so uh, you need to be wary of, of this. So we do need to get our lab te te technician disguise as well. So first of all, we're going to take out this guard right here. Go ahead and dump his body and grab his disguise. And once we've done that, we're just going to drop down this ledge. Sorry for the skip, I don't know why it does that. I'm going to subdue this uh, scientist right here, the lab technician, just to say, and then go ahead and hide his body in the crater on the opposite side. But yeah, all it did, that skip, all it did was uh, it skipped the drop glitch where I aim the gun, move forward, and click the drop button, and that's, then you'll just drop straight off the ledge. Alternatively, just slide down the pipe, it doesn't really matter, you didn't miss, miss anything important. But now we've got this lab technician disguised, we need to go and hack the laptop. So I'll just avoid this uh, camera right here, avoid that enforcer. Same thing we did in the previous uh, level, we're just going to sh shoot that woman over there with a the trank. And go ahead and hack the laptop. Should have plenty of time here.
And once we've done that, we're going to go and do what we did previously and cause a couple of distractions. So we're just going to turn this generator off when the two guards are, are standing next to each other. We're going to turn it off and leave it off. And because this is the guard that you need to take out with the amputation knife. So if, if you've distracted the guard on the left, that's the wrong guard. If it's the guard on the right, the one that's coming upstairs right now with the SMG, then you know it's the guy that you have to take out with the amputation knife. We are going to wait for him to turn the generator back on, however. So once you see it disappear from instinct, that's when you can go ahead and uh, take him out. Go ahead and drag his body and hide him in the nearby crate. Also, you need to hide his SMG as well. And turn off the generator again to distract the second guard downstairs. The reason why we turned it on back on this time is because we don't want to distract anyone else coming up. It's all a precaution, really. I was going to just, just uh, trank him there, but obviously I don't want him to spot me, I don't want it to cause any panic. But we tranked him from behind there, even though you don't, you don't really have to, you can just subdue him, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to drag him next to this crate here, and then throw the golf ball at his head. Then you can go ahead and put him in the crate. Let's just not hope you're not too unfortunate where you um, explode his body all over the place. There is going to cause a lot of panic around, so you need to do, need to be wary of that. Again, just try your best to avoid all the enforcers that are around, avoid all the, all the cameras, and then head straight to the exit. You could have even taken the guard's disguise if you wanted to, but um, I think it adds a little bit, of, a couple more enforcers, so I don't think it really makes much of a difference, really, when it comes to that. But it's entirely up to you, whichever way you want to do that. But now we've got a confirmation of us on the assassin for level 4. Let's go ahead and move on to level 5. For level 5 it changes everything completely. Now we have to take out both guards with the katana and the play doctor's disguise. Some things have been moved and changed and we can only use the katana while we're uh, dressed as the play doctor. So we are actually going to start in the lab area. Just ignore what, I, what the screenshot you've just seen there because that's, that's wrong. We're going to start in the lab area and do the same things we did previously just to hack this laptop. Just to get this laptop out of the, out of the way. Because it's kind of irritating to go back and forth, but this is indeed faster and more efficient taking the laptop out now. So that's the reason why I did that. So again, that screenshot is wrong, so I apologize for that, first of all. But uh, yeah, if you follow the rest of the guide, everything's the same. Just start the lab technician with the trank, and that's all you need, basically, for this. So from this point, all we need to do now is go and get our play doctor's disguise and the katana, which is in the attic. Also, the guard's positionings are, have changed on this. As you can just see, we ran past a guard there. He wasn't there in a the previous level, so they have uh, changed a couple of things up. I don't even think they do that anymore with uh, today's sort of escalations, which is I quite like it, but um, one thing I didn't like about this escalation is the fact that they've changed everything completely for level 5. It really didn't escalate anything, it just changed everything up. But yeah, but this is the, an important disguise when you have to take out both of the uh, targets with this disguise on. But now we need to go and retrieve that katana that's in the attic. There's going to be a couple of guards up there, so we need to distract one of those. Take them both out. So my initial plan was to start in the kitchen and take out the guards first, then go for the laptop. But it was, I thought it was just... It took way too long in comparison to actually going back and forth. Actually going back and forth took less time than starting in the kitchen. That's the reason why initially I had that screenshotted. Once we're on the roof, we're going to grab that brick there. Toss a coin on the opposite side of the attic. That's going to distract one of the guards. Then we're going to throw the brick at his head, and then go ahead and subdue the other guard. And once 
we've done that, we can grab the katana that's just laying here. And head all the way back to the lab area. So we are still going back and forth, but again, it is still a quicker and more efficient method than starting into the kitchen. Because I was going to go in the kitchen, grab the disguise and the katana, and then take out the laptop later, but it turned out, um, yeah, I didn't really like it. Because we had to go and get the scientist disguise and stuff like that, because it would have took longer. There's going to be a guard patrolling up here, so we really do need to kind of take him out. So we're just waiting patiently here. So we're just going to knock him out and then go ahead and drag him into the tunnel, just to keep his body nice and hidden. Need to get rid of this guard as well. Really wanted to trank him, but I just couldn't because um, he would have spotted me. So I just threw a coin over there just to get him as a distraction. Unfortunately, we're going to hide his body in the crate. I really didn't want to use the crate spot, but never mind. It doesn't matter because we're going to take out both uh, the guys anyway with a silent kill anyway. Just make sure you hide his shotgun. Place it just behind. There you go. So when the two guards are together, the timings might be a little bit different. But to wait for those two guards to actually stand next to each other, then do the same thing as we did in the previous levels. So if you've done it right, you'll know that the uh, the guard to the right will come up and to investigate, and then that's we're going to take him out first. We are actually going to wait for him to turn the generator back on before we distract the second guard. So if you do try and use this katana or pick it up with a different disguise, you'll automatically fail. So just make sure you keep this disguise on until the very end. So just go ahead and hide his body too. Pick up his gun as well to hide it. Pick up your katana and go ahead and turn off the generator again to distract the second guard. care of him, we can go ahead and put his disguise on now and head straight to the exit. I don't need that disguise anymore. Goddamn cameras. She's going to investigate that generator because I didn't turn it back off. This is what I'm talking about. That's the reason why I took precautions before, but I just forgot to do it this time. Just head straight to the exit as fast as you can. Just don't make sure she doesn't come up. But it's because we didn't turn that generator back on. But uh, once we've exited the mission there, we will get our Silent Assassin rating. And it's a relatively easy Silent Assassin for all five levels of the Eccleston Illumination. It's really quite straightforward, really. But in regards to the future escalations, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing these anymore because they don't generate a lot of views. <laughs> They're not very popular by uh, my subscribers, so I don't know. And if you're wondering why the microphone sounds a bit different, because I'm using the microphone for my headset, but it should be up to scratch anyway, but I just couldn't bother to plug it in. But that's going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. And thank you to Psycho, all, all the Psycho Assassins, Arjiao, Finn Parkinson, and uh, The Shave for becoming top tier members of the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.